So we're sketching inequalities on a number line, but first we're going to sketch equalities on a number line. X equals 2 is an equality, they're equal to each other. This is a number line, and to sketch the equality X equals 2 on the number line, I just draw a dot where X equals 2 is. X equals negative 3, if I want to sketch that, I just put a dot where x equals negative 3 is. But that's not what we came here for. We're here to talk about inequalities. So here's an inequality. x is less than or equal to 2. So inside of this, there is x equals 2, which is this dot that we drew just before. But there's also x is less than 2. And to show that x is less than 2, we draw a line in like this, with an arrow saying that it goes on forever. Think about what the inequality x is less than or equal to 2 is saying. X could be 2, certainly, but X could be 1.9, it could be 1.8, it could be 0, it could be negative 1, it could be negative 2. It's all of these numbers to the left of 2. If I said X is greater than or equal to negative 1, it's equal to negative 1. So again, I can draw a little dot in here, but it's also greater than. So greater than negative 1. Think about it when you do it. X is greater than or equal to negative 1. It means it's negative 1 or numbers bigger than it. 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 2.2 or 1.1 or 3.3 or a million. X is less than 0 0.5. Okay, first of all, 0 0.5 is about here, right? There's no equal to. It's not equal to. So I can't put a dot at 0 0.5 because dots mean it's equal to this value. I can put an open circle at 0 0.5. And that open circle says, we're going to start at 0 0.5, but we're not including 0 0.5 because we're not equal to 0 0.5. X is less than, all of the numbers less than are included in this one here. So X is less than 0 0.5, open circle, don't include 0 0.5, but do include 0 0.495. Uh, 0 0.498, whatever it might be. All right, open circle. X is greater than negative 2. All right, here's negative 2. It's greater than, which means it's not equal to negative 2. So we need an open circle and greater than. All right, so the big people thing mistakes people make is these circles, making them open when they should be closed or vice versa and going in the wrong direction with their arrow. You can always check x is greater than negative 2. Think of a number greater than negative 2. 5, make sure that your arrow is going to pass through 5 and you're in business. Really the last version of things we need to look at, negative 2 is less than x, which is less than or equal to 3. All right, so negative 2 is less than x. You essentially do this in two sections. We'll do this bit first. Negative 2 is less than x. All right, negative 2, negative 2 is less than x, which means that x is bigger. If negative 2 is less than x, that means that x is larger than negative 2. All right, I haven't put my arrow here because look here, look at this second section. x is less than or equal to 3. All right, so where's my three? Three here, less than or equal to, which means that I'm closing my circle here. And that line's gonna go here like this. Now this inequality really says that X is between negative two and three, not including negative two, but yes, including three. And when we look at the picture I've drawn, that's what we've got. We're between negative two and three, not including negative two, but yes, including three. I've labeled those examples for you, A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E. We are in business. We can now sketch inequalities on a number line.